When I was a kid, the idea of honey kind of grossed me out. I always thought of it as bee spit. I'm putting 15 milliliters of organic local honey in this test tube. We're going to seal it up with a silicone plug, cap it, and then heat it to the point of failure with a torch. I started to film this several days ago, but the, the sky was pretty overcast, my lighting was pretty bad, so I just left the test tube sitting there. So the temperature of the test tube when I started out was pretty cold, probably just above the point of freezing, about 35 degrees Fahrenheit or just a few degrees Celsius. Despite the cold temperature, the test tube is made of Pyrex and it's a pretty good quality. I'm impressed with these things so far. And the heat didn't crack it or anything like that. It was no thermal shock. The, the heat from the flame is heat hitting about an uh, inch above the bottom. It's not directly on the bottom. I wanted to see what kind of effect that would have this time. Now honey is made up of a lot of complex uh, sugars. Uh, sugars that it includes is fructose, glucose, maltose, sucrose, and it has a, a percentage of water usually around 15 to 20 percent I believe. What's interesting about this is there's a, a layer of strata there. Um, I believe the where the heat is the hottest, about an inch above the bottom, um, the honey is actually caramelizing. The honey below isn't getting as much heat, so it's kind of insulated from uh, caramelizing. Now, we, as we have seen in other experiments, um, when the substance turns black, watch out. That's usually uh, a good indicator it's ready to blow. Also, you'll notice that the bubbles that are forming in there will suddenly drop right before it blows. You'll notice that the flame was also blown out. Let's watch it again on another camera further away. Now watching it in real time, you would think the thing just exploded, but that's not the case. The pressure got up so great that it pushed that high temperature silicone plug up and it just and, and push the cap off with it we can see that a little better here and as that superheated high pressure caramelized honey went shooting out it you know propelled the test tube down like a rocket and it still had um, honey in there um, flashing to steam when it hit the top of the table and then the impact just made it explode. There was still pressure inside. Um, just a big, nasty, sticky mess is really what happened here. Not a lot of um, vaporization. There was a lot of brown crud all over the place on my backdrop and everything. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. It was fun to make. Thanks for watching. Now this is a recap from the Dawn dishwashing soap. The cap was pushed off, the test tube <clears throat> slung around, and there was still a lot of residual pressure inside when it shattered on, on the top of the table. Anyway, thanks again. Bye.